Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about how you can call Apex method in your LWC component in an imperative way, okay? So let's say if you have a scenario wherein you only want to invoke your Apex method or you only want to call your Apex method when there is a certain logic. That means in response to a certain logic or you can say, for example, like, you know, on click of a button, right? So you don't want your Apex method to be called or invoked when the component is loaded. You only want to do it after a certain action or after a or or as like you know as a response to certain logic okay so um let's just not uh, like you know let's just not get too much into it let's just go to vs code and get started and while we do the examples i'll explain you how you can achieve it okay so i have this is my vs code i'll just close everything and i am going to create a new lwc component and I will name it as uh, imperative demo. Okay. And I am going to uh, create a class. And before before we start with this, right, I wanted to, so if you guys remember this table, right, I want to display the same thing on my UI. Okay. I want to fetch data from salesforce org and i only want to fetch like you know five records account records and i want to display their record id um, uh, with respect to their account name okay record id and account name for all the accounts all the five accounts okay and this this particular table i want to display i don't want to display by default i don't want to display the moment component loads okay i want to display it on a certain logic or in response to a certain function okay so I'll go back to the, okay, so here I will create our Apex class first. <clears throat> Imperative uh, demo helper. Okay. And I will fetch the accounts. Okay, so. And the account. The, the query that I'm going to write that will uh, return me list of account, right? <clears throat> because I would be wanting more than one account. So I will, let me just give a function name, get accounts, and then uh, return, uh, and then I will write my query select ID name because i want to only display id and name so that's what i am querying okay and here it is okay and now <clears throat> as we are going to use the imperative way of calling this method right we don't need to make cacheable is equals to true because if you remember that wire service uses client cache right but imperative method does not so i just have to give this tag of our enabled and that's it our uh, enabled Okay, and then I have my class ready. I will deploy this. And let's just go back to the LWC component that we created. Okay. Okay, this was it. Okay. So the first thing that I have to do is I will import the method right from the class. So import and get accounts. I can give any name, whatever I want from and then that it's salesforce apex and then slash if you guys remember the format of calling the importing the method then i have to give the class name dot method name okay dot method name so i have imported my method okay now what i want to do is the same way right i want to display uh, my data into lightning data table right so I would have to set up the columns, correct? Because I, I have to tell the component, right? What and all are the columns and what would be the respective value where it is supposed to fetch the values that I have to define here. So I will take another property. And the syntax is something like this, okay? Uh, in square brackets and for every field, I have to enclose it in uh, curly bra uh, braces. I will only be giving label and field name so label would be uh, account record id i can give anything what i want or like you know as per your requirement you can give the label and then i want to give the field name okay 
field name and the field name of so this this has to be the api name okay the field name is nothing but the api name now i also want to display account name right so here label could be like you know your own whatever you want to define it as you can define but the field name has to be the api name so as account name is a standard field right its api name is name and here i would have to import track as well okay so here it is now okay now as i said that you can only call your apex method based on like you know let's say if there's an action let's say if there's a click of a button right so you can like you know call in that case like you know when a when when a, when, a, when a user clicks a button or you can also call it in response to a certain logic right so i can call it in in inside any other function so here i'm not going to create any any button okay i would rather use one of the methods that we have in lwc life cycle methods right and that is called connected callback so connected callback method um, always gets like you know called first or you can say it automatically runs whenever your component renders into the dome right so i know that the moment my component will load after that my connected callback method will run automatically so inside connected callback method i will use my imperative method calling okay because i don't want to create a button and like you know do, uh, do all of that show hide and if if true if false all of that thing right so let's just use connected callback okay and then inside connected callback i will be calling the the method that i want to call but this time we are not using any decorator right we are using uh, imperative way so how you can use your um, method imperative way is this so this is my accounts right this is what i fetched so i'll type in this and then after this like you know so every call right every imperative call always uh, will return you uh, return you something called promise okay and if you know a little bit about javascript you would know about promise but for now just keep in mind that every call will basically like you know return you promise in response and then that promise will contain uh, your data and error okay so what you can do is you can uh, use make make use of arrow function okay so from the response you can basically create a local property here which you can like you name it as data or error and then when you are like you know basically checking the response from the response you can take out data and error and you can store in the respective variable so that you can pass it to the uh, html files in order to display it okay so here in this method what will i do i will <clears throat> i will have to make use of then and catch okay so what will i do i have to write something like this okay let me take it to the other line dot then okay <clears throat> and then inside this i can you can define any any variable right for my ease i am defining it as result but whatever you want to name it you can name it but then you have to make use of this function okay arrow function and then you have to so in in this you will have you will get your uh, response right and what you want to do is you want to store your response because you would have to store it in order to pass it to html file right so let's just create another variable here at the rate track and i would say account list okay so i will store the response into account list okay so this dot account list sorry uh, is equals to and result okay so what will result the data i am getting i am storing that into this okay and then the error part right so what i want to do is i want to store my error into some variable right so i will create another error uh, property here okay to store the error and we are using track so that like you know it it will keep on uh, if it will keep the new values it will keep on giving you the new values okay and then here what i can do is i can store my error okay okay so this was it what you have to do is i am as i said right that i am not using any like you know uh, any button or like any any such action i am rather using one of the methods of lwc life cycle right and this method connected callback this uh, this this method 
automatically runs when your component gets render renders into the DOM. Okay, whenever it loads, right, your component loads, this method gets called automatically. So the moment this method is getting called, I am trying to make an imperative call to the Apex method that I want to like you know get the data from. So this is how you declare it, right? You have to give the uh, import uh, variable, like you know, in wherever you have imported your method, the Apex class method, and then because the response, uh, the response that you will get would be a promise response, and then in that promise response, you can make use of then and catch in order to store your response into your other any other local variable, right? So that's what local properties. So that's what I have created, and I'm storing result and error. Okay. So now I'll go back to the HTML file. And let's just go ahead and create a table, okay? Um, so let me just first create a template. If true, and what do I want to check? I want to check if there is anything in the list, right? If there is a response for data, I want to check that. And if that is true, what I would do? I will create a lightning data table. Lightning data table. Okay, and then here I will give key field as ID, and then I will give columns, and we have prepared the columns, right? So I'll go back here, columns, and then what do I have? Data, right? So where do I have the data? I have the data in this particular variable because this is where I'm storing the data okay there it is and then uh, okay i have to close this and that's it okay and i will also write the code for error okay so let's say if template if if true what if there is an error okay if there's something inside this variable what i would do is i am simply going to display the error okay so these are my variables where like you know properties basically these are my properties where i'm storing my data right if you go back to the js you can see that i have taken these two properties and from the response i'm storing that data and the error into these two properties okay and then the same properties i'm trying to display on the html okay now let's go to the configuration file and I will only include it on a record page. Now let me go ahead and deploy this, okay? And I will also deploy the class. Now let's just go to our org and include this particular component on one of the record pages. This was for the wire demo, so we'll remove it and we'll include the component that we created for the imperative calling. remove this and let me save my page first okay so now uh, imperative demo help sorry imperative demo right the component imperative demo so let me go ahead and search for imperative demo and i will so here it is right so in this case what is the difference between the imperative calling and wire method so you only when you only want to invoke your apex method based on like you know when there's a when there's some action right let's say a click of a button or in response to a function call or like you know a certain logic then you can use imperative calling otherwise if you simply want to uh, invoke the apex method when the component loads you can use the wire service and here as i said right that i am not using any button click or any other um, action right i am simply using one of the life cycle methods of lwc which is called connected callback but connected callback does not uh, like you know connected callback runs when your component gets rendered into the dom okay so it automatically runs and then inside that connected callback i am calling the i mean i'm invoking the apex method imperatively okay so i hope at least you got the idea how you can call 
an apex method imperatively in your lwc component i'll see you in the next session till then bye bye